Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So let's talk about cognitive load and software development. This is where my experience in psychology, which was my major in university, and my experience in software development collide together to form a perfect union of nerdness. So let me just lead with the point. The point is that what you're gonna see if you're a junior coder or somebody who's just getting into coding, but coding for the most part can be an intense practice where especially in the early stages when you're architecting and you're coming up you're, you're coming up with your boilerplate code or you're trying to decide what stacks to use, what frameworks to use, what libraries to use. There's a lot of uh, thinking involved and it actually can be physically demanding, believe it or not. This cognitive load is a concept in psychology. It's about cognition, you know, your thinking processes. The more complex you have to, of a problem you have to solve, and software development is really about problem solving, the more cognitive load you're going to have, and this is just par for the course. course. So for me, par for the course is just an expression in reference to golfing. It just means this is normal. So for me, as you're probably aware, after about a year and a half of fairly consistent work, we finally finished Woohoo! We finally finished the Studio Web 5 platform. There's three elements to Studio Web 5. There's the main SaaS, the learning SaaS. SaaS is software as a service. That's all the interactive quizzing and the, and the videos and the tracking and the grading, all that kind of stuff. Then you have the Studio Web Store, which has all kinds of complexity there. It's a digital store that hooks into the SaaS. It has a pretty advanced couponing system for affiliate marketing and all kinds of other stuff as well. If you want to learn more about it, check out my Instagram. I talk about it for like five, 10 minutes. You want to understand that. And the third component is the brand new certification module. So we've been providing certification Studio Web for several years now, since 2011, to schools. And the public wanted to get in on these certifications because these are not certificates of completion, which are next to useless. These are actual certifications where you're tested uh, through a randomized quizzing system, co-theoretical. When you come out of a Studio Web certification, you actually know the material. It's guaranteed you do. So these, cert these certifications, which are already being used by schools, by the way, these brand new ones, are super solid. Anyhow, so we built an entire certification system which hooks into the SAS to manage the whole certification process. So we have these three big modules, main learning SAS, store, and certification system. Uh, over the last year and a half we built this. And it wasn't full time uh, necessarily, but it was a lot of work, a lot of architecture, a lot of thinking things through about how the basic system, the core system, which is the SAS, how that was architected in terms of um, in terms of everything. But a big part about it was how to manage the different user types, how to manage the distribution of content to different users, et cetera, et cetera. Because we have uh, group users, we have uh, institutional users, we have individual solo learners, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it, it just... You have to think about all these things, and it's just a lot of cognitive work. In the last couple of months, uh, or so, more than a couple of months, I guess, I've been pushing to get this thing out, uh, and it's been a lot of decisions had to have, had to be made, and boy, did it tire me out. To, uh, it's just like when you sit there, it could be a simple thing like you know what 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 the what's the test the text going to say on the certifications that are issued on the certificates. Um, yeah, when you pass a pseudo web certification, besides a permanent record in our system, uh, you get a, uh, a certificate that you could, a PDF format that you could print out, etc., and it's stamped, etc. We have actually two styles, by the way. We have a traditional looking certificate, or you can also get the more modern looking certificate. Either or is good. We wanted to make the certificates something, uh, something of value, right? Just figuring out what's what's the design going to be like. Uh, what what is the text we're going to have on that? Very simple things like that. Too complex things is like, how are we going to create accounts for uh, individual users versus uh, school students? How does the app 
paint itself? How does it render its views based on the type of user? For example, uh, school users have a limited session timeout because you think about it, you have kids coming in, kids, students, you have students coming in from class A and they do their work on city web and some may forget to log out. So if they don't log out and the session is still active, some other guy comes in or some other girl comes in, sits down at their workstation and goes, hey, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. So we have to limit the session timeout for students in that environment. But on the other hand, for uh, home uh, learners, people who are learning on their own, they want a longer session timeout because they sometimes will be taking notes and or maybe they'll go get a coffee or something and they'll come back and they have to re-log in. So we've created, uh, we, have multi, we have session timeouts depending on the type of users, we built that in and there are like hundreds of other things like that we have to consider. So figuring all of this out, uh, especially stuff that relates to architecture can be time consuming. So when you sit down to write an app, especially an app that has some complexity, you gotta spend a, a little bit more time on the front end, not too much more time because you don't wanna get too caught up in analysis, but a little bit more time figuring out what it is you want uh, in the system. And then you, gotta then you gotta iterate quickly and get it out quickly, rough and tumble code, because there's gonna be all kinds of mistakes, because at the end of the day, end users don't really know what they want until they see it. Now you could ask them and interview them, uh, but at the end of the day, until they're actually sitting and using your system, they're not gonna know, so you wanna get it out very quickly. Anyway, back to the point of this video. That's it, after a year and a half, all these heavy decisions I have to make, I had to ha make, I've made over the last couple, year and a half. Um, they're heavy decisions because they're gonna impact, especially the core uh, architectural decisions. They're gonna impact the software for many years to come. So they had to be good decisions. Anyhow, that is done and it's like, it's, like I can tell you, there's a physical feeling of a weight, huge weight off my shoulders. Because now Val, this is done. Just, the certificates are just getting uh, rendered out now. And uh, yeah, so you're going to start seeing certifications for the first time offered to the general public. They should be available within a few days of the release of this video. So that's kind of cool. So we're talking late February, latest early March. I doubt even that late. And uh, yeah, and then what means, what that means for you guys on YouTube and elsewhere is I'm gonna spin back to my level output from a year ago when uh, I was putting out tons of content. I plan on putting a lot more. I, have, uh, I talked about the Need to Nerd newsletter, but I'm gonna have the Need to Nerd news. All the things I talked about, they're rolling out. They're gonna be rolling out, so it's gonna be a lot of fun because I look forward to upping my game in front of the camera, just like we upped our game big time with the Studio Web software. And, uh, Oh, that's my phone. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. A bit of a rambling vlog uh, midweek in February. But, um, but uh, there you have it. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.